unbeaten fighters and major performers. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. Hey, Mohamed, yes. IFL TV, MTK Global. Your call today, joined by Johnny Phillips. How are you? Very well, thank you, mate. Very yeah. well. So you're boxing out of Camberley Gym. Uh, Camberley, How's that going? My head coach, Charles. With Charles? Charles? Yeah. What are you saying, Charles? Very good, mate. <laughs> 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 the dream, mate. <laughs> yeah, so how's it going there? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah, we just uh, pretty much had confirmation I'll be fighting on the 30th of June and possibly for my first title. Where's that? So, uh, uh, it'd be your call. Oh, your call. And it's actually my debut at your call as well. I've never fought here before, so. Oh, really? I've been here about 50 times, but never well, fought here. So, a lot of fighters uh, say it's quality fighting down there. Oh, it's lovely, mate. Yeah, but I boxed, um, I boxed a month ago uh, against Josh Fawn. He's a good opponent, uh, comfortably beat him my first six rounder, so I'm ready to step it up now. I want to, I want to start getting some belts on my waist now, man. So. Obviously, your former opponent, uh, uh, Wilson, on the, on the card tonight. Yeah. Obviously, you had that good stoppage over him on the Gross Cox card. Yeah. Well, how do you see him as an opponent? He's a good fighter. I mean, it was just, uh, it was just what happened on the night. It's, it's, it's what yeah. boxing is. I mean. Oh, I'm there for a rematch, but at the end of the day, I stepped up two weights to fight him. So if he wants a rematch, he's got to get down to my weight because, in my eyes, the balls the, the balls in my court. Because I stepped up two weights to fight him, so he's just now if he wants to fight, offer me some money, offer me a belt, and step down to fight me. So yeah, what weight are you fighting on? Uh, at lightweight, I am. What, is that mean you look that's, lightweight? That's my fight? natural weight, and he boxes at weltweight, and I stepped so up. So on June the 30th, you're at lightweight. Yeah. Yeah. So if he wants a rematch, I take him any day, and uh, he has to step down at lightweight. But if he wants to get down that weight, we get it on. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you saw. Well, you must have saw in the, in the week Tyson Fury announcing his, his return for the ninth of June. Time with Frank Warren. Yeah, your thoughts on that? Is it good for the He's division? Gonna destroy the heavyweight division. I mean, I said that Wilder will beat Ortiz, Joshua will beat Parker, Joshua will beat Wilder, and then Fury beats Joshua. So then Fury's going to get all them four belts back. I think it'll be a twelve-round boxing match, but Fury comes out on top. What on a unanimous, unanimous decision? Unanimous. You think? Bit of a boring fight, but Fury comes out on top. Massive build-up. Uh, and not the best fight, but Fury wins. The fight. So you're happy to see him back then? Yeah, hundred percent. But do you think he can get back to his best after that three-year layoff? We'll see on the night of June. We'll see how we'll see how he plays it out on that first fight back. Because um, no one knows. We can be what's it three years out of action or whatever it is. You never yeah. know what you're going to be like this. So uh, we'll see on the night of June and see what he's like. Well, I had him uh, quote in in the presser. He said. Um, He'd outbox Joshua and then knock him out. Do you, do you think he can exactly stop Joshua? No, no, no. I think he stays on the, I think think he stays on the back foot oh, and he beats him on points comfortably, but just an awkward and scrappy fight where it's not entertaining for the fans. Personally, that's what I think. I think massive build up and an awkward uh, points, points fight. Now, let's talk May the 12th, Lomachenko v. Linares. Yeah, your thoughts on that one? I'd love Linares to win. Uh, but I think Lomachenko's got too I've much. heard a lot of people say this. They want Linares to win. I want Linares to win, and I think, but I think Lomachenko will. And they're saying about Javante Davis fighting Lomachenko after. I think Davis gets destroyed oh, yeah. by Lomachenko. I don't think Linares is going to be that bad. I think it would be a good fight between them two. It would be a close. I think he'd go in the distance, and Lomachenko win on points. But I think if Lomachenko wins and fights Davis, I think he stops Davis. I think he makes Davis quit. Okay. I think he's out of his league. But I think Linares and Lomachenko is a very good fight. Okay, Johnny Phillips, good to get you on the channel. I'm sure we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you very much. Anything you want to add on IFL? Yeah, get to your call on the 30th of June to watch me take that first belt, mate. Three rounds, three minutes, three fights. Unbeaten fighters and major performers, I can't tell you how excited I am about this.